Oh yeah, little Gumi Gumbox. As you all know, this is the last episode of season one. I know it sucks, but don't worry, I got plenty of great stuff coming soon. Really soon. So today, I'm not going to bring on a new a new CMOS IC. I think we had enough for now. I'm just going to show uh, some hints on how to add even more option to the synth uh, modulation stuff we already built. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Phil from the Phil Studio. Like the guy with the red hat said earlier, this is truly the last episode of the season one. I hope you enjoyed the show and I would really like to thanks everyone for the support and for the good comments you've given me. I can't wait to post more video and don't worry this show is not done yet. Well today I'm gonna introduce you to photoresistor which will add more control and randomness over your synth design. Enjoy guys! Okay first of all I think you may want to know what a photoresistor look like. Actually this is one of the most common look of a photoresistor. It's a small component with two legs and note the particular design on the top of the resistor. So what is a photoresistor? Basically, the photoresistor is a variable resistor. Its symbol looks like the regular resistor but with a circle around and two arrows. The value of the photoresistor is variable and will depend on the amount of light that will go through the sensor on the top of the component. There is a ton of these resistors and their values are wide and varies a lot. Basically, in the dark, these components will have rather high resistance value in the range of mega ohm. In the light, its resistance will drop pretty low and may go down to hundreds of ohm. I'm gonna show you how to measure these values in the ohm meter function. So let's just plug two both leg of your photoresistor and put it to the light so you know what values it has in the light. So now we know it's about 340 ohm in the light and in the dark if I put my finger we get up to like 7k 7 kilo ohm So what we want to experiment today is to control the pitch of an oscillator with a photoresistor Let's take our first build project with the CD4106. We put the power normally, we add a 10 microfarad capacitor from input to ground, and instead of using a 10k potentiometer, we will tie the photoresistor from output to input. So in that case, the pitch of the oscillator will be controlled by the amount of light going into that photoresistor. Something that we may also do is to control a VCO with a simple voltage divider. Use a photoresistor to divide the voltage at the input of the VCO. The VCO input will be higher when you put the resistor in the dark and will be lower when put in the light. If you want it to work in reverse, you may swap the two resistors so you will change the configuration of your voltage divider. So let's try it. Okay guys, so here we're just gonna build the first project actually with a 10 microfarad capacitor on the CD4106. And what we're gonna do special is instead of putting a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, just put your photoresistor between input and output. Okay, so let's power this up. So now we have a really low frequency in the dark and as soon as I put off my finger the light goes into 
the photoresistor and the pitch will goes up Actually, what you could do is also control the tempo of your sequencer, you could control the pitch of a VCO or anything that comes in your mind. And I encourage you to try and experiment again. Oh yeah guys, we're done. I think that now you have all the tool to go on your own and build yourself a cool synth. I'll be there if anyone needs any information or have any question and the documentation will still be available on my web page and on the description of each of the videos it's time to get back to electronic design see you soon guys <laughs>